right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to the Mystical Archive YouTube channel. And today we are on Quest for the Spice Lord Part 2. So let's see what we can find in these collector's boosters and modern, modern horizons. Hopefully we can get something real spicy. I think I'm going to start it out with the Theros Beyond Death collector's booster. Let's see if we can find something really cool in here. Open a booster box of regular Theros Beyond Death. I'm really hoping we get a cool constellation pull in this booster. This is the last one that they had at the local game store. So let's see what we can get. More Buyer Blessing, Dreadful Apathy, Indomitable Will, Foil Forest, Nylea's Forerunner. Stinging Lionfish. The art on that's just really cool, the way they did the foiling. Renata Called to the Hunt. Hero of the Winds. A foil full art forest. I was hoping for a plains. Oh, there we go. Now I can complete my deck. I'm wanting to get one of these out of a pack. Death Bellow Warcry. Ephemia the Cacophony. Two on flying harpy. A temple of abandon. Elspeth conquers death. And a timer at chosen from death. And a satyr token. Nothing too spicy, but still cool all the same. All right. Next, loading onto the bridge of the weatherlight here. Do some Modern Horizons. Let's go for the Spice. Quest for the Spice Lord has zero counters on it right now. Let's see if we can activate that ability. Ooh, I like the old school frames. Galvanic Relay. Alright. Squirrel Sanctuary. I'm going to move this stuff out of the way so we get the cards in here. Clattering Auger. Vectus Gloves. Hunting Pack. Oh! Gaedron Dihada. Dihada. Gaedron Dihada. Not familiar with this Planeswalker. Protection from permanents with corruption counters on them. Each opponent loses two life, you gain two life, put a corruption counter on up to one other target creature or planeswalker. Gain control of target creature or planeswalker until end of turn. Untap it and put a corruption counter on it. It gains haste until end of turn. Or minus seven, gain control of each permanent with a corruption counter on it. Shenanigans. And a soul talisman foil. Very, very cool. Suspend. Tap for two mana. Alright, that's pack number one. Pack number two. I'll say we got one counter on Quest for the Spice Lord. Love these broken, indestructible artifact lands. So good. Alright, we got a filigree attendant. Terramorph, Capric Capricrome, and we got a Squirrel Mob, gets plus one, plus one for each other squirrel on the battlefield. A Sylvan Anthem, green creatures you control get plus one, plus one, whenever a green creature enters the battlefield under your control, scry one, very neat. Alright, pack number two. Let's get into pack number three. Still only one counter on Quest for the Spice Lord. It's my new thing. I think we're just going to do that. Whenever we open random packs, it's Quest for the Spice Lord. Underworld Cookbook. A Terramorph. Thraven Watcher. A Chance Encounter. And Chatterfang, Squirrel General. Okay, number four in the last Modern Horizons pack. 
Can we get that spice? Archfiend of Sorrows. Kaleida Scorch. Tireless Provisioner. Bone Shredder. Cauldra Complete. Very cool. I loved the old Cauldra Shield helmet and sword from way back in the original. It was a Dark Steel, um, Fifth Dawn, that whole era. Very cool. I'm glad that they decided they were going to make something that functionally does the same thing, but it's really cool to see. Awesome. All right. So we'll call that. It wasn't super spicy, but I'll go ahead and use that as the second counter. All right, now we're going to open these Blister Pack Throne of Eldraine Collector's Boosters. This was all they had left at the game store, so let's see if we can get something out of these. I haven't really opened much of Throne of Eldraine. I think I opened two Booster Packs when it came out, and then life got busy. Got a booster box of it that I've been holding on to that I will eventually open up on this channel. But let's see what the collector's boosters can do for us here today. Alright. Bantress Paladin. Jousting Dummy. Rose Thorn Halberd. Tempting Witch. Scorching Dragonfire. Garnbrig Craver. Or Carver, rather. Garnbrig Carver. Love these frames. Embreath Shield Breaker. Cauldron's Gift. Edgewell Innkeeper. We got Fay of Wishes. Merchant of the Veil. Curious Pair. Banish into Fable. Borderless, Borderless, Witch's Vengeance, that's oh, extended art. And a Wicked Wolf with a Wolf Token. Alright, pack number one. Doing okay. And the last pack for today. We'll see if this can get us at least one more. We're at two on Quest for the Spice Lord. You know, we're not going to get to four, but try for that third one. I like seeing the variation in all the different collector's boosters that I've opened. The quality is different, the way they kind of slot in the cards is a little different. This is real, whew, this one took a little bit of a beating though, it's all scratched up right out of the pack. I don't know if you can see right here, all kinds of, there is a little bit of it. Alright, moving on. Smitten Swordmaster, Searing Barrage. Didn't say please. Prophet of the Peak. Mara Leaf Rider. True Love's Kiss. Seer Kara the Bold. Okay Ranger. Archon of Absolution. Embrith Shield Breaker. Fulmire Knight. Very cool art on that. Silver, Silver Flame Squire, Rowan, Fearless Spark Mage, Planeswalker, A Wicked Wolf, Castle, Garenbrig, Extended Art Foil, and a Human Token. All right, very, very cool. So we did all right. Nothing too spicy, like I said, but still a fun time. Got some cool stuff. We can go ahead and go through these and uh i appreciate you watching please like subscribe check out the social media accounts i got patreon going uh, i want to get to the point where i can start opening some of the stuff for the viewers um do some giveaways but so far it's been a great time and i got a couple more boxes that'll be coming down the line all right have a good one